Parkinson's disease commonly affects people over the age of 60, and more than 10 million people are living with PD worldwide. This long-term neurodegenerative disorder is characterized by the abnormal aggregation of the alpha synuclein protein dopaminergic neurons, leading to the formation of amyloid fibers and the disaster motor symptoms such as shaking, rigidity, slowness of movement, and dementia in advanced stages. Approximately 60,000 Americans are diagnosed with PD each year, and the costs including treatment, social security payments, the lost income for an inability to work is nearly 25 billion per year in the US alone. Thus, more basic research on this elderly disease is mandatory. Thinking on this, a group of researchers at the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro, in collaboration with researchers from Germany, have uncovered the molecular mechanism under which these aggregated forms of the alpha synuclein can be dissociated in vitro to form the monomeric and non-toxic species. In a paper published in Scientific Report, we have used pressure to understand the disassembly mechanism of these aggregated and toxic species. We have shown using biochemical and biophysical techniques, including size exclusion chromatography, circular dichrys, fluorescence, and infrared spectroscopy, that applying pressure to up to 2,000 bars, alpha synuclein amyloid fibers are dissociated into monomers, with no signal of oligomers detected. In contrast, if applying intermediate pressure such as 1,000 bars, we have a mixture of pre-dissociated fibers and monomers. As shown by high-pressure nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, these monomers associated from fibers at intermediate pressure have different dynamic properties as those not incorporated to the fibers. In the case of the pre-dissociated fibers at intermediate pressure, they have different morphologies, getting thicker and forming clusters as compared to the fibers not sensing pressure. Additionally, solid-state NMR spectroscopy revealed that the hydrophobic core of both species seems to be slightly different. We also test the effects of these pre-dissociated fibers, considering the aggregation of alpha synuclein monomers. There is increasing evidence supporting that PD is a prion-like disorder, but the species that contribute to its seed behavior have yet to be defined. For example, it is unclear why alpha synuclein derived from patients with multiple system atrophy exhibits a prion-like transmission character, whereas alpha synuclein from Parkinson's patient does not. By recording the fluorescence intents of thioflavin C, a specific probe for amyloids, as a function of time, we have shown that the pre-dissociated fibers are able to seed alpha synuclein aggregation, but less efficient than seeds formed after fibrosonication. Our results show that probably different seeding mechanisms may contribute to the balance between primary nucleation and elongation phases. Finally, we have elucidated the mechanism by which pressure leads to fiber disassembly. First, we explore the presence of non-exposed cavities into the hydrophobic core of alpha synuclein fibers and we have identified several ones along its perpendicular axis, one formed by the side chains of an intermolecular salt bridge and two additional ones located immediately inward from the Greek gate topology. The locking mechanism of the alpha synuclein fiber core consisting of the charged pair and the corresponding non-exposed cavity formed by these residues would likely make it a vulnerable site into which water molecules get pushed and would make it dehydrate the cavity prone hydrophobic core. To access the relevance of water on fiber disassembly, we have preferentially excluded water molecules from around the fiber assembly using glycerol, and we observed higher stability of these fibers against the pressure induced dissociation. These aligned non exposed cavities may explain the beating of monomeric species from the fiber at mute pressure due to water penetration. We offer the molecular details of how hydrophobic interaction, the formation of water excluded cavities, and salt breeds jointly contribute to the assembly and stabilization of these fibers. In conclusion, our work has provided biochemical structure data on the mechanism of how pressure affects the cavity-prone hydrophobic core of alpha synuclein fibers and leads to fiber dissociation of dynamic monomeric species, which were heretofore not detected by conventional techniques. High pressure should be considered as a potential tool for developing a new generation of target species and for drug screening studies based on the dynamic properties of intermediate structures. Future therapeutics focus on the blockage of de novo aggregation and seeding and the development of new biomarkers for early diagnosis may represent an effective strategy to combat PD.